Hey guys, so today I'm gonna talk about the things that it did for me to lose weight. So basically, I started my journey May 1 and today is November 3. So that's May, May, June, July, August, September, October. So para almost 6 months na nagda-diet ako. So the idea is, is always calories in versus calories out. So no matter how much you exercise to burn the calories, pero mas marami pa rin yung calories sa pumabasok sa katawan mo, you're still not gonna lose weight. So calorie counting. So first thing to do is for you to download My Fitness Pal. It's a free application sa App Store or sa Google Play if you're using an Android phone. And basically what it does is it lets you input your your there's this strand of hair messing with the living with girls. But anyway, so basically it it, um, it lets you um type your um your goals or your calorie goals sa day na yon. So as for me, I always maintain it 1,000 to 1,500. So bakit 1,000 to 1,500? There are days that I go for 1,000 if especially yung mga days na hindi ako masyadong busy. I don't, you know, do a lot of physical activities like, you know, commuting or walking around the city or mauling. Yun yung pag nasa bahay lang ako or like if hindi masyado intense yung activities ko for the day. I'm sorry for like always scratching my nose. It's like super itchy as hell. But anyway, I'm having allergic rhinitis then. Um, sometimes I always I I, I, I adjust it to 1,500 if um, I have dinners with I have like dinner with friends or with family members if I have like you know parties to attend to or if I you know if I know that I'm gonna be busy all throughout the day like processing papers you know being just being around the city you know accomplishing stuff and goals so it's kind of hard to explain but I documented myself this these past few days kung yung kinakain ko, kung ano yung, kung ilang calories siya, and then how I, you know, actually compute, and how I, you know, deal with the day knowing that I only have like 1,000 to 1,500 calories. So, watch this clip. So, my sister brought brownies from Iloilo, and I ate one of these kaninang morning for breakfast. I also ate one hard-boiled egg. Kasi I will be doing chores today, and I had to make sure that I have enough energy. So, brownie and egg. So right now I'm with Pia. We are working yeah. and I got myself an iced Americano. So this has like 15 to 20 calories. First since I'm on brown sugar, so I'm around it up to 50. Supposed to have dinner with my ex-workmates from Globe, but I didn't because I'm in traffic. So I went home and I will be preparing my own dinner. So I'll be eating one cup of that thing right there. And then century corn tuna. 70 calories but don't forget to always multiply it sa serving servings per container so since 3 nakalagay tapos 70 calories so 70 times 3 that's 210 and nalagyan ko siya ng one egg because I love eggs and also another tip from me is usually I use a bowl so this is one cup of brown rice I use a bowl para, para mas madami siya tingnan as compared to like a plate, kasi mas mas spread yung rice, so feel mo na parang hindi siya ganong padami. As compared to this, that's why um yung mga rice bowls from restaurants, it looks uh, mas madami compared to the meals na nakaplato. And then yun, I'll just put this here. And, pwede mo na siyang ipakain sa dogs, chat. <laughs> And then, one weird tip then I use kucharita para mas maraming subo. Yun. I'm having like a bad case of allergic rhinitis. But anyway, this morning I had like one brownie and half a cup of coffee. So that's like 120 plus 30. So 150. Later, we're gonna have lunch. So out of nowhere with my family, so it's gonna be a lot of calories. Good job, man. Today's lunch. This is 400 calories. 600 calories each, 600, 600, and I do not know where I'm going. 
years, what's left of it. And I got myself some hot tea, zero calories. It's dinner time and I got me some KFC Twister, California Mackey, my favorite. This is just 400 calories according to my fitness pal. And I'm with my pal, Jack Rizal Alcala, who also ordered the same stuff. So, while I was on the journey, I took photos. So while I was on the journey, I took photos of myself from day one, May one, uh, May five, yeah, May one. So here's how I look. And then two months after, July five, here's how I look. And here's how I look now. So as you can see, um, you know, I'm not the most fit person, you know, I'm not that toned because I do, I do not work out. But as you can see, like, the, the change is really drastic, like, from this really huge guy to, like, to, to what I have now. And so that said, uh, I think that calorie counting is, I always look at myself, but um, that said, calorie counting is perfect for people with sedentary lifestyle. When I say sedentary lifestyle, you know, you don't, you know, you, you don't actually go to the gym or you don't you don't actually do a lot of physical activity so ito yung office job um yung para nakaupo ka lang whole, whole day almost or like um merong lang light walking when you walk from you know time to time pero that said um i do not I, I i'm not confident in recommending this to people na you know always on the go like walking around commuting um or even people going to the gym because i think you need like a higher calorie intake every day because it, of course if if medyo low if you're in a strict calorie deficit for that day your your energy is supposedly hindi din dapat ganun kagrabe dapat tama lang din for you to you know for you to you know survive the day so the idea is for you to lose weight it's always it's always calorie in versus calorie out so imagine if you always take in calories sa body mo and you do not do anything for you to expel those calories through exercise or through working out then that's when the calories you know compound into like that's when you gain weight that's when you, you know, but if you restrict your calories um i think the daily calorie um requirement for boys would be 2000 to 2500 i'm not so sure about girls but some boys is 2000 to 2500 so when i decided to to restrict my calories to 1000 to 1500 every day that's when i started losing weight so here are some tips for you for your journey to be easier for, for it to be easier so what i do is sometimes i i always plan ahead planning ahead is is key when i say planning ahead oh god i'm sweaty when you say planning ahead it's very important it means that you list down the things that you are planning to eat tomorrow because when you list it down most likely you're gonna follow the schedule if you think that you have a party to attend to kinabukasan like on family gatherings or you know just a night out with your friends where you're gonna drink beer or something i always make sure that i eat content lang during the day so that i have more calories to enjoy during the night so what are the things that i eat sometimes i eat egg it's very filling and low calories 80 calories um sometimes i eat bananas or um fruits like um apple or i take soups ang soup kasi is very filling especially when it's feeling really warm or hot it's very filling but at the same time it's not that big in terms of calories um you could also adjust your, your you know serving suggestions instead of putting your food sa plate sometimes you can put it sa bowl lang na maliit because when you put it sa bowl it may seem like it's bigger ang kanyang amount and you know like what you saw sa video i use like a very small spoon para mas maraming subo so calorie counting is fun because unlike any other diet as for me i don't think that it's super strict you know aside from you following your calorie restriction for the day but in terms of the, the food that um you can eat quite anything sweets um fast food if if you know if you're into fast food ako like i always eat at kfc if i have the time but hindi siya maraming bawal just as long as hindi ako lalampas dun sa calorie intake of for the day so it does not matter kung ano yung kinakain ko just as long as hindi nga siya lalampas sa calorie intake intake of for the day so my advice would be to start 
um, with 1,500 calories every day. And then if you have your katawan mo, you, you gradually go lower, like 1,4, 1,3, 1,2 to 1,000. May mga times that I, I also do um, intermittent fasting. If you want to know more about intermittent fasting, there's like a to like tons of articles about it on YouTube and Google. But just to give you an idea, intermittent fasting is you only eat between 12 lunchtime up until 8 p.m. So yun lang yung time frame na pwede kang kumain. After that, you can only drink water, coffee, na black or tea, anything that's zero calories. So intermittent fasting, I I I can't really assure that it really helps with you know losing weight, but it's more of like detoxing your body lang, you know, just restarting your body, para ni reset mo yung body mo for cleansing. But what really worked for me, like what I said, is calorie counting. So with calorie counting, you can eat any time of the day, kahit anong oras, kahit lampas na ng eight, kahit lampas na ng nine, even even like midnight, you can still eat just as long as you follow your calorie restriction. Calorie restriction for the day. May mga times na I go, you know, I overshoot to 1,500, especially if may parties or hindi maiwasan, but always ko siya binabawi the following day. So if nag, if, if lumampas ako ng 1,500 today, I, I, I make sure that I go for like 1,000 tomorrow. Also, if you need extra help for your calorie counting, um, you could always um, inquire sa Sweeties Hearty Meals. They deliver, you know, good food. They deliver calorie counted meals. I think 1,500 ang kanilang um, cap every day lunch breakfast dinner and snacks one five lang siya so if you think na you know you don't have the time to 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 count calories because if you're you know you're really busy and stuff you could inquire sa kanila they're really cheap um they're not paying me to do this but you know i just want to you know offer the extra help sa inyo you could go and contact them um go visit their facebook page i'm gonna put it down down below and then their contact number and then you could go check out their menu also, if you think that this video will really help you and your friends, please do share it and please do subscribe because I will be talking more about, about calorie counting in my future videos. And yun nga, I really want us to build this community for us to help each other, um, you know, give tips, give updates on, 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 <laughs> what, like, kung nagpayat na bata or something, so.